Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. We're going to be playing Diana into Echo. For the runes, we got Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Coop, Magical Footwear, and Cosmic Insight. Echo, or any ganking jungler really, they have the initiative where they do the first play. And then your job as Diana is to react to that play. We'll be full clearing until then, but no premonition is really needed. The buff of the noob champ, me clear camp. You do something, well, you better have done it successfully, because once we react to a play, if Echo fails a gank, we can either attack him or we can attack the lanes. It gives us a lot of options. We'll be starting the Raptors doing the farm max path here. Raptor, Krug, and then Red. This will allow us to farm more camps more often, as they will respawn sooner, and then we'll have something to do if there's no plays. And if there is plays, then it gives us options to react to those plays. As you're clearing with Diana, the recent passive buff is going to make it where you basically always have your attack speed going, so you use the ability, and you want to wait for this to mostly expire, and then you can cast the next ability. So you have all that bonus attack speed for longer. We'll be pathing towards the top side for once here. The bot lane is truly nothing. Two utility champs versus two utility champs. Meanwhile, top lane is a big problem. Darius versus Wukong. A meathead versus an actual monkey. Who can win? Popular question is, if you were alone in the woods, would you rather be with a bear or a man? Well, if you were alone top lane, would you rather be against Darius or a Wukong? Hmm. Wolf's into the Gromp here. Just like on the red side, this will make these bad boys respawn sooner, so on the second clear, it will be up again, and... There's Echo in the bot lane with a red buff. So that tells us that he has no red side camps. And surely the ash goes down. Two assassins. Ash is one of the weakest ADCs, two assassins too. Good luck down there, honey. I'll be killing my camps. You may hate me now, but just wait till I'm level 9, okay? You just wait. So we're on the top side here, and then... I would usually ask, well, where do I have a gank? In this case, maybe we have one, you know, Talon roamed the bot lane. This guy's pretty low, so we'll see. Moving into the enemy jungle, I have options for both. But Zet doesn't have W, bro. And then naturally, top lane's not pushed in. Hey, yeah, yeah. Our raptors are respawning, but we really don't have any plays here for a while. Unless... Unless Talon wants to really give us one here, waiting. And off we go. And he walked backwards. Damn it. Expertly played, Mr. Talon. Ward for the Zed and then back to our Raptors here. The sooner we're done with the Raptors and Krug, then the faster we'll reset. More gold in our pocket and higher level. Schmack, moving. Schmack. The Ash is getting pretty good chunks here. Wow. Alrighty, let's reset quick. Blasting one, dagger to the top side. Echo basically just gets to walk into his kills. That's where I say we get a react. Well, not if my allies die on the wrong timings. To the top side here, I mean, for Echo, for all of Echo's value here. 25 CS, we got 36. We're a level up. We're also very, like, way faster to level 6 here. So that's when you can really turn it around against these ganking junglers. You don't have to worry about it on the first turn. You don't have to worry about it on the second turn. But once you're level 6, then you're in business. If, you're, if you have your ulti and the enemy jungler doesn't, well, you're going to win the fight. That's for sure. So I'll clear the Gromp. Clear the Wolves. And now, this will put me in position for a play on the top side. And if there is no play in these lanes, then at the very least, we have those Void Grubs to do as well. Phew. Gunk. Eleven seconds on those bad boys. And the enemy laners are doing nothing. Just dying. Just nothing. Talon just standing there. Alrighty, I'll do some Void Grubs. Whoa! W moving. 
Heal this guy. Waiting for my Q cooldown here so I can get the reset. Q. Alrighty, bye-bye. If he's going to E away, he is donezo with this place, so... Wood grubs are mine. I can't believe Echo was topside trying for these bad boys. Can you not see what my Darius just did? And the sooner we clear these, the better. Remember, those raptors are coming up. More XP for me. Flash in. Now, I'm really looking for the talent here. Whoa, flash. Q, E, W. E, ulti. Ah! Oh! Bob, I didn't level the ulti. Damn it. I had that guy for sure. Schmack. Mr. Talon. Mr. Talon, you can't farm this wave. Now, I think Echo would reset to the top side for his red buff. But his bot side camps are still up. Listen, let's do something with our ulti while we're here. These guys are going too ham too quickly. Q, E, W, ulti. Run! Oh my god. Well, that wasn't all we were looking for. If I went onto the Thresh, maybe, but damn, I thought we could have it all. Fiendish Codex. Yeah, let's do Recurve Bow. This, this. To the bot side. Man. Alright, so you want to have some impact with your ulti, but a bit too overforced there. If I'm going to take the turret shots, and apparently Echo just reset right to bot lane. Well done. Okay, one for one. Where Echo reset to the bot side, he's going to stay there. So as this play continues, we better get involved. Stun. Q. E. Moving. W. E. Crash this wave. <laughs> when the Zeri ultis the solo Taric, I mean, I guess the play keeps going. So now we've killed them. I'm going to try to do the dragon here as my ulti is coming back up. This will give my AD... I missed. <laughs> this will give my ADC something to do. Now we're kind of in business. Then we have an easy sequence to clear our camps and take the... or take the reset and get the Nashers too. The full completion of that item is pretty important comparison or compared to just having the components. Pretty quick at soloing this where we have pretty good component items too. Stun going super wide. Let's take the easy target here this time. Hmm. Let's take the easy target, guys. Smack. He's fine. Q. E. Schmack. Schmack. E. Schmack. Yes, I've learned from my mistakes. Well, the dragon into the kill gives me the Nashor's Tooth. Although we've been skipping all of our camps, it's fine because we're against Echo. Echo's not going to be taking our camps. So long as the plays are working out, this will all be fine. Nashor's Tooth gives us 90 ability power, 50% attack speed, 15 ability haste, and 35 magic damage on hit. So, this is going to greatly increase our clear speed, and then it also gives us a good fighting item as we enter the mid game, as it will give us both good damage and then also good DPS. That DPS, if the target survives, targets like Thresh, Zeri, Echo, Wukong, you're probably not going to burst them. Especially the Echo, he can just go back to his shadow. So, it's important to have that DPS so you don't run out of damage simply because the abilities are on cooldown. So since we skipped all these camps, we'll be clearing up towards the top side again. So that we can play for the Void Grubs. Nice. That's what I'm talking about, Mr. Zed. Echo took a couple camps here, but that's fine. Whenever Echo takes these camps too, it probably takes him a long ass time. And then boom, he dies in his jungle. Because he didn't clear his own camps. And then boom, I'm on Void Grubs. Do we care about those missing camps? No. Especially once they respawn, they'll be giving me more XP, too. It's a real downside of counter jungling nowadays. You respawn the enemy camps. We are wailing on these. But Nashor's Tooth is not messing around. Okay, they're done. Whatever plays are going to happen bot side on this turn, it, it kind of is what it is. It's at least super obvious where it happens so quickly. So I'll take 
the Echo's red side camps and then look to gank top lane where my bot lane's just dead. <laughs> nice pull. There's the clone. Phew, E, ult, E, W. Okay. What? I didn't flash out of range, my bad. Sork pin boots. Since I die, I don't get to get back to my blue side camp, so if Echo takes those, I mean, that's the price I pay for the bad flash. I thought I had more distance. <laughs> I'm just like standing there. <laughs> Since my blue side camps are up, we'll farm these for a little bit. Even though I don't have ulti, I can still participate in the place too where I have Nashor's Tooth. Because if a play happens, they'll spend abilities on my allies. And if I'm there, uh, then I can just get involved. They won't have abilities to one-shot me. Yeah, there's my Gromp. Yeah, there's my Wolves. Alrighty. Into Mr. Echo's blue side. We're still up on CS against him too. If, if he's spending his time counter jungling, he's not ganking my lanes. He's fine. No, it's not fine to be outnumbered here. Control ward waiting. The TP is a little weird. Zed is just running at him, huh? No way Talon just walks at me like this. He's dealing as much damage as we can. Because he won't be able to retaliate with the Zed behind me. Echo's going to be there. My ball lane's kind of eating it with this one. This was all on full information. What a shame. I have two options here. Attack Echo's top side or defend bot lane. I'd rather defend bot lane. They can get a lot of turret damage here and that's not good. Now we're looking to clear the wave, not attack the enemy laners here. It's up to them to attack me. It's a key mistake people make is whenever they go to defend the lanes, they just end up all in the enemy champions. For what reason? You got me. Dragon's up in 22, so we have an okay position on this. Mr. Tarek behind me. I can clear this ward. Looks like Echo's also playing for this position, so... Let's get in there. Probably should have used my ulti as he came back on his ulti. I thought we would just simply have enough damage, but it is fine. We got his ulti. This will set us up for dragon. And since I still have my ulti and more playmaking potential, I need my allies. Thank God Thresh and Talon aren't just walking at me here. Finish the dragon first, man. Before we clean up the mess. Adios. This is all warded. I'm going to check the Rift Herald before I reset here. Since the Echo went towards topside. He's either farming his camps or doing that, so. Raptors are down. Any Rift Herald, big man? Alrighty, Rift Herald is up. So we have two options here. Reset or stay. I'll reset. Better to get my items. The game's somewhat even here, so... Go for Hextech Alternator, Control Ward, and back to... Yeah, back to the top side. Hextech Alternator gives us 45 ability power, and then additional magic damage on our initial burst. So whenever we go in, we're going to deal a lot of damage. And then we'll either stay on top of the target and keep hitting them, or we'll back off and then wait for those cooldowns. Darius, no, don't get engaged on. <laughs> well, the jig's up for these guys. Q. E. E. Ulti. Clean him up. Q. Go ahead, clean him up. I'm going back to my camps, Bob. There you go. That's an easy Darius double kill eventually. By doing my camps, I can actually heal. And with HP, I can actually play. Your team has 
Pose and farm on my bot side camps. How weird. Well, we start to play with our ulti, but damn. Wasn't enough follow-up. I'll give it to you. Like, it was a bit messy, but... Now we'll clear these camps, get a reset off, and do it all over again with our ulti up. Once we enter the mid-game, our ulti just simply comes up more often. We hit level 11 here, so that gives us our second point in it. We have quite a bit of ability haste with the Nasher's Tooth. So now the ulti's on a 68 second cooldown. Every minute we can cast that bad boy. That means we can make more plays. Aether Wisp into the top side. That kills. Nice. It's gonna be Flash out of Echo. Oh! The Ash Arrow lands. Well, 17 minutes here. I'll start the Rift Herald. The play is kind of done without us. Since my team wins the play, sure, I'll take a Rift Herald. A Rift Herald, uh, no pickles, side of fries. Make sure the fries don't suck. Now with Rift Herald, that gives us way more potential to take these outer turrets. Mr. Talon. Mr. Talon, I love you. To not have Proto Belt against these guys feels kind of bad. I feel like I can't reach them too often. So instead of chasing Talon, let's get right here. This may give us some potential to get a pick. There we go. Oh. Oh, they saw us for that one. Not like that. You don't want to engage right in front of their turret. Q, E, W. Keep smacking. Now following that one. And let's flank Mr. Talon. So we get into the enemy jungle. Gives us a good position for the plays. Good position to get a pick. And makes it more difficult for the enemy to play. Rather than sitting in our own jungle and farming. Damn it. I was off vision again. <laughs> Thresh, you're getting lucky, okay? into the dragon I'm basically just reset not for that resetting for a control ward I can clear my camps down but I'm gonna skip Grom so that I'm on the dragon faster since it's the third dragon for us then it's gonna be way more important to play for that than it is my own camps pick it out moving Q if you hit the Q it's pretty good you can assume this whole area is warded But there he's pushing top. That does not help our cause here. Ash, baby, let's get some vision. Nice. Hello. Phew. Okay. Just like in the laning phase, just take the easy one, I guess. Zed's doing all the work for us. No ulti required, eh? I don't know why these guys are resetting, but that's fine with me. I'll push this wave, the next one, and drop the Rift Herald. Because once we take that dragon, there's no camps for a little bit. And we have a lot of time to play with, with these guys still being dead. The best way to do that is to continue to push. Darius taking top lane inhib too. Ride this sucker in. Six Void Grubs. Slammed. Q. EW. Smack. Smack. Moving is fine. Q. Waiting. W. Q. Waiting. Okay, this is not working out, Bob. We gotta run. If I go in, one is not turning the fight. We don't got Zed with us, and then we instant lose Baron. The classic right here. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. Making sure I can spot out the Baron. Alrighty, and that tells the whole story of how these guys are going to be playing. You got me. QE. Hold it. Good enough. Just give it some time here. Looks like the play's done, so I'll reset. 
we should honestly just do the Baron, though. We got everyone on the map, and they are totally backed up. Kind of patrol the area. There's Echo. So long that we stay on the Echo and have vision of him, then we can do this Baron eventually. Do a step back, let the Taric tank. Hopefully. Oh, we don't have eyes on Echo. Wish me luck. Smite! And after the Scuttle Crab and Blue Buff, we need to get a reset off. We have so much gold. <laughs> so much gold. And it once spent. So next step here is to do a proper engage, set my team up for a fight, where they are all juiced. We're not the main character this time. Storm Surge, Seeker's Arm Guard, Control Ward, and off we go. Seeker's Arm Guard will give us that ability to go invulnerable so we can set up a big engage. We have our Flash and we have our Ulti. So we want to get on top of the enemy carries, which in this case is going to be the Zeri, the Talon, or the Echo. If I start the engage, it really, the enemy is going to spend a lot of abilities and then that opens up the opportunity for my Darius and my Zed to get in there. I guess step one, we want to be grouped up on them, huh? I'm in a good flank position, but not around the crucial allies. Q, E, W, smack, 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 smack. Oh, close. I'm going to go shadow the Darius for now. These guys are not nearly far up the map as you would like them to be. Thank God I negate by that. He's fine. He is fine. He ulti. Zonius. Q. Because if they attack me there, they move towards the wall. If they move towards the wall, they can eat my ulti. They can eat the Darius pull. They're walking into a lot of problems. Push, push, push. The Void Grubs in spot like this are so useful. Alrighty, push, push, push. That's that. <laughs> Final score, 3, 2, and 8. Nasher's Tooth dealing 1,000. Storm Surge dealing 150. That was mostly just how you just take with winning team. No need to continue farming. Do the plays. Or be around the plays. Or react to the plays. Because we can act like a proper engage assassin, I guess. <laughs> Whenever that's the case. Diana's so weird like that. No archetype for Diana. Alright, that puts us at Masters 18 LP. Final damage dealt 1300 and damage taken 1800. With Conqueror healing us 100. Wow. And Coupe de Gras dealing 200. Alrighty, Bob. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned a little bit about Diana. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. And click join for more. Thank you. Bye-bye.